Hello everyone, I'm Mazurab and today I will be talking about, well not really talking about, I'm gonna tell you a story. Sorry, that's the story. This is a new podcast. Sheesh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to be posting this podcast on YouTube and on Twitter, at Twitter, TikTok, sorry. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, make sure to hit the bell icon in order to not have notifications from my channel. Okay, let's start. So he wakes up. Here he is. What's his name? Alright, yeah, his name is Beetle. Beetle is a significant fellow, right? Kidding. He's useless, dumb, absolute degenerate loser he gets bullied a lot in school and is laughed at by his family and friends. Beetle comes from El Filipinas, which is that like um fictional version of the Philippines. El Filipinas is like this place where which was transformed into this nuclear devastated world. Yeah. World War 3. Mm-hmm. Beetle isn't very useful. Not a useful person, no, in fact. He's a loser and has various illnesses, stress, anxiety, Asperger's, Asperger's, whatever. A type of autism, same as me. Not great, he's called Beetle because he's small, scrawny, and weak. The Filipino here are immortal, right? Superhumans, why? I don't know. Maybe it's this huge thingamajig where their Marvel Cinematic Universe bitches, no? Kidding. Captain America? I am Iron Man? What are those shoes joke from Black Panther or some shit? Basically, the world was destroyed by this conflict known as the Third World War. That's 6 3. But 20 years later, the Filipinas entered this golden age since there are just so many goddamn superhumans that randomly popped up in the Philippines. Only in the Philippines. I don't know why. All in the Philippines. Their current leader is President Bling Blong in his 21st year. And third term! So Beetle wakes up, goes to work, and meets his friends, Panther and Green Day. Uh, Beetle wakes up, goes to work, meets his friends, Panther and Green Day, Aurora as well. And then Beetle goes to work, meets his friends, Beetle goes to work, meets his friends. He does this every day, 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. Pretty regular stuff. And Beetle was very angry with this. Very, very grrr, angry. He begins questioning things. Oh dear. Questioning things? That doesn't sound right. Ugh, said Beetle. What? asked Patera. I don't know, just fuck man. Look at this. All we do is write documents for some random reason. Can't we just bounce and shit? Why the hell are you talking like a black guy? Why the hell are you talking like an idiot? You're both idiots, said Green Day. I am Beetle. Yes, because you're scrawny, big, fat, and stupid. Are you seriously complaining again? Jesus Christ, we've, got, we've been doing this for five years, said Green Day. But don't you want to mean something? Matter? Asked the same king. Quit asking questions, you're gonna get us in trouble again. Asking questions is bad. Suddenly, there's this really tall and big muscular giga child of a superhuman guy before them. Well, well, if it's the three scrawny pukes, what are your powers again? Beetle foolishly speaks. I can dodge Christ for the love of God, don't reply, said Green Day. Ride the dodger, or use dodging shit. <laughs> The big guy punches Beetle in the face. Ha <laughs> What a British cigarette! Hey! yelled Aurora. Big guy! You mess with him, you mess with me! Psh! 
the big guy walks away. Yes, that's right. His name is literally Big Guy. Damn, straight up, straight up. Aurora helps Beetle up. You good? Yeah, said Beetle. I can't keep protecting you like this. I'm an alpha, you're a beta. Peeps might start talking, you know. Yeah, well, sorry. Later at lunch, they eat like this Filipino food known as Pag Bag. Don't know what that is? Look it up. I'm sorry, said Aurora. But you know the rules. I can't hang out with you that often. Because of this bullshit rules, I tell ya. Just because Bling Blong is the head of the church doesn't make him or punches him in the shoulder. Ow! Yeah, that's called pain, Beetle. You can't talk about the same thing that way. I know it's important to you help your fam in the drought. I know, sorry. Yeah, just uh Mm-hmm. Nice punch in the way. Uh your arms really like strong. Thanks, been doing chores, said Aurora. I mean yeah, my point exactly. All we do is chores. Yeah, because it's right. Beetle size. But we mean something. Aurora, I mean something to you, right? Beetle sees this cute lady nearby. His, her name's Sabbath, Black Sabbath. Oh shit, play it cool, play it cool! Beetle hides, blush, blushes and hides his face like, like, like this, like a fucking weirdo. Aurora sizes Sabbath, Sabbath, Sabbath uh, Black Sabbath, he sits next to Aurora. Hey, Black Sabbath. Hey, Aurora, Green Day, Panthera, then Sabbath. Black Sabbath ignores Beetle and sits next to Death Leopard. Phew, that was awkward, said Panthera. Yep, awkward, said Green Day. More awkward than your Asperger's. It's called Asperger's. Christ, got a dictionary, a thesaurus or some shit, said Beetle. You guys aren't talking anymore? asked Aurora. Yeah, I told her I liked her. She chose. Well, yeah, she's an alpha. So is that leopard? That's the way things are. Yeah, <laughs> the way things are. So Beetle looks down, looks a little sad. He lowers his shoulders, pressed practically in that very moment. Aurora smiles with a subtle, um, saddened look. She tries cheering him up. Hey, have you heard of what happened in the new movie, The Revengers 3? Yeah, I like it better than the crappy La Liga Hustisha, Small Beetle. Haha, <laughs> great, keep on talking about it. So Beetle talk and talk for hours on end about this, even after lunch. Which annoyed Panther and Green Day to the bone, but Aurora just loved listening to him as she was enamored by his voice himself. But before the talking continued, the bell rings and everyone began just scouring everyone, began typing and typing, writing and writing. Doesn't matter what they write, right? They just write and write until it doesn't feel right anymore, as if they don't have any, no rights. And then 12 a.m. strikes and they go home. Or stretches while next to Beetle. I also need to stretch. Woo, that was a doozy beats. Smiled Aurora, stretching her arm. Yeah, Beetle says, sees some good luxury food nearby in the baking shop. The pair stopped to buy the little, mo the little money they have. The pair were only able to buy like five pandesals, which is like this Filipino bread. Man, I wish I could buy those Uba filled ones. It's okay, dude. Here you can have mine, smiled Aurora. It's not right for me to take something from an alpha. Besides, you're of higher. You're of higher status, right? And Jesus told us to share, right? So eat with me, Father. It's just beautiful, attractive dance. Beetle tilts his head and tumbles his feet in a silly posture. Sure, thanks, I'm still a believer. That's the spirit, it's not her. Suddenly, suddenly they see a Celestials only. Huh, Celestials only. Weird dudes in the middle. Never see any of those Celestial dudes come together like that. Hmm, interesting. I guess to the Hey, hey, ooh, what if we take this pamphlet?
girlfriend and crash the party, huh? It'd be amazing. Amazing. I think you're stupid and the show will hit your head, you in the head. Yeah, yeah, fine. But bling blong like that. I you know what you're doing, so you can get this precious little bottle glass. Fine. Yay! Actually, the event is actually this place called the Annoying. This this place, this thing called the Anointing, and that after everyone eats in the buffet and parties and has a good time, the Holy Elder will enter and choose this guy called the Anointing, which should be the same king, Bling Blong. Since no one was guarding, the two lovers cast idiots. No, not lovers. Lower cast idiots. Began gorging themselves with popular food foods. Rice cakes, balloons, chicken joints, bananas, and apples, and eggs, adobo, and many other meats they could find. They considered going to the foreign section, but they found it to be way too out of bounds for them. Welcome, brethren, smiled the elder, who came from the darkness. Celestial, he saw clearly, they saw clearly, that he was clearly one of the servants. No, they saw his uniform, not the servant. Beetle began to sweat. Wait, um, th there must be some mistake. Her began to get worried. Hi, hi, hello, oh crap, ha ha ha. Um, Elder, did you get in the hit in the head with a frying pan or something? The Celestials <gasps> gasped to his rudeness. Sorry, he was just choking. The sky is in the Celestial! yelled one Celestial. Boo! They all booed at him. But Aurora, being an alpha herself, bows before him. Seeing the unthinkable, the Celestials were terrified. An alpha bowing to a beetle? Shit. He's legit, ain't he? They all slowly bowed one by one as the elders smiled at the spirit. End of chapter. Okay, that's it. So basically, this chapter explores a character called Beetle, a superhuman in a society of superhumans. And apparently, since uh, Beetle is just a very weak. Beat the 
writing nonsense basically. It's absurd, it was mentioned that they were essentially writing nonsense. But whatever is the reason. So what do you think? Is that a nice story? Is that not a nice story? Do I have a silly mustache? Do I have a silly Well, see ya!